right, Taliota champs. Today we're going to be talking about the RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti. What laptops they're going to go into? Yes, I think they're going to go into the XPS 15 and 17. Are they any good? Well, I'm going to tell you the good, bad and ugly about them. And in another video, I will talk about yes there apparently have been leaks of a 6800m 12 gigabyte amd radeon graphics laptop so stay tuned for that video but anyway let's talk about this the rtx 3050 and 3050 ti now i do believe these will be going in the xps 15 and 17 and similar kind of notebooks as well as you know entry level sort of gaming laptops as well now the reason i think they're going into the xps 15 and 17 is because of the tdp because if you don't know we've got to get to about a 50 watt TDP. TDP for the XPS series 15 and 17 that is I'll just say XPS from now on you know what I'm talking about and the reason we have to use like a 50 watt GPU in the XPS series is because of the power limit plus thermals more to do with the power limit I would say because if you don't know the XPS laptops are USB-C so usually with USB-C you're limited to 100 watts but with the XPS series they have a custom brick right they can do 130 watts with a USB-C which is amazing so it's a double-edged sword there you get the USB-C, but with that, you can't use more power than 130 watts at the moment. So it is what it is. But what about this GPU here? I'll leave a link to this article from WCCF Tech, and they usually just rip stuff from other websites. So I'll rip this from them. Basically, what we're talking about here, we have some benchmarks, but if we have a look at the specs of it, what we can see there is the CUDA cores 2048 and 2560 on the RTX 3050 and the RTX 3050 Ti on the right. Now, interestingly here, they are RTX laptops, they're not GTX. I honestly have no idea why you're putting ray tracing in these sort of 3050s. I don't think it's necessary. Even a 3060 is not the best experience for ray tracing, so I don't know why, but it's just how it is, I don't know. And as we'll see in the benchmarks later, these things can actually boogie. They're pretty fast, according to the leaks at least. But also some notable points here is we can configure from 35 watts up to 80 watts. So that means XPS 15, 17, perfect. 50 watts, that's what we want. There you can see the boost clocks. We can see that we have 128 bit memory. But what I'll say I'm very disappointed with is four gigabytes of RAM. Hopefully there is a six gigabytes. Please, in the TI, have a six gigabyte. I mean, if these are just four gigabytes, this is a real big disappointment. But in terms of performance, if we have a look at these benchmarks, the actual benchmarks aren't disappointing. We're going, you know, with the TI, the 3050 Ti, we're, you know, nearly doing what a Max-Q 2060 can do. And the Max-Q 2060 is pretty good graphics, especially if we're doing content creation. You don't need like a 3080 or a 2080 or something like that for content creation. You really just want the video RAM. That's why I want more than four gigs. But you can see there, the performance is comparable with the 2060 Max-Q. And here you can see in this benchmark here, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it actually beats out a 2060. So that's what you get with this new Ampere architecture. I do expect 2060 performance in the XPS that's friggin amazing if you ask me now of course the XPS 17 already has a 2060 and it has more RAM too doesn't it so I hope we're not going back to four gigabytes please and to me that may make you know the current XPS 17 just you know buy that over to if you're going to get a 3050 Ti and it only has four gigs of RAM and it's borderline with a 2060 why wait right but in the XPS 15 for sure of course the 3050 will be a big upgrade I wonder if they put a 30 50 in the XPS 15 and a 3050 Ti in the XPS 17. That'll be very interesting. So there you have it. 3050s coming to laptops soon. And yeah, I've got to make a video on this. 6800M discrete graphics for gaming laptops too with a 5900HX Wolf. That's what I'm talking about. And let's face it now, you can't make a desktop now, can you? With your normal GPU, you have to go laptop now. This is the way you want to go. So anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.